Hi, my name is Daniel Apricio, and today I'm going to take you through a screencast for Adobe Connect, specifically showing you how to share your computer screen and applications as well through this software. Uh, as you can see by this meeting, um, I've, there's myself as the host, and I've got a couple of participants um, who've been chatting away uh, down in this right-hand box. Uh, at the same time, um, we've got the, the pod for uh, sharing open up at the moment. So if we want to show the participants your screen you can literally click on this central area here and select share my screen. It gives you an option then to select uh, desktop applications or windows. It might be easier here if you've got two monitors um, and you can uh, actually specify uh, which you know the right or left monitor uh, for Participant, participants be able to see that would come up here uh, but for this process I'm just working off the laptop so let's go ahead and share the desktop screen so this is specifically what the participants are seeing right now through their Adobe Connect so let's open up something maybe specific to uh, what they would want to see you know for your lesson specifically um, and just for this example I'm going to use uh, some badminton techniques from uh, like a coaching manual. Um, what we can do here is we can go down to the Adobe Connect uh, toolbar, right click on that and go to pause and annotate. So once you've got something that you might want them to be able to interactively do something with. Um, so that literally brought that up in a couple of seconds um, and so you can now see in terms of the right hand side you can see the number of participants this is exactly what they're looking at in terms of um, on the screen so they they're also seeing um, your Adobe Connect uh, they can still chat away and you can respond to anything they say if you look in the top uh, sort of right hand corner here you've got the whiteboard area so you could make selections so you could give say a participants um, you can drag and drop them into becoming presenters um, and so if we do that for, for Faye, um, she could then actually start presenting on this information. Uh, we could do the same for Howard or Steve um, and pull them into that. Just to give you a bit of a flavour as to what you can do with the annotation. So in terms of you can draw rectangles, you can um, highlight specific areas. So if we go to the pencil and specifically pull out the highlighter, yep, yellow is fine and you might want them to be able to highlight specific areas uh, on the actual annotation um, and they could do this uh, at the same time as each other as long as you've given them the ability to be able to to use these tools going back to sort of resume so that still they're seeing this so if we drop this down and go back to the presentation uh, you can see here that your, your screen has been shared and you can go to stop sharing. From this point um, you could go on and do various different interactive things. You could pull in um, a presentation from PowerPoint into this area here or something else maybe more interactive uh, that you wanted to share through your screen. Uh, you might even want to just open up a, a couple of websites on your screen um, or have a one-to-one a -one with a, a student through this whole process and show them specifically uh, on your screen the areas of the an assignment that they might need to um, do because they might have failed it in those specific areas. So once we've stopped sharing our screen there's various different things uh, just whilst the video finishes uh, that I'd like to show you. Uh, you can change if you look on the right hand side things here and this is specifically set up with the pods for sharing uh, you can change that to a more discussion based format um, so here you could have discussion notes where uh, students are, are chatting away um, and actually you can make notes yourself on, on something that you've done pr uh, previously um, for them to be able to see again the chat box has just moved more central here so you can still see and respond to what students are doing uh, and a little poll that I set up uh, earlier so in terms of multiple choice uh, you could say is it going to be Murray or Nadal who wins in the tennis later this afternoon uh, answer one per line and then you could open this up to the uh, number of participants uh, 